Hello, I'm Jay Bowman, and thank you for your interest in this, our fourth quarter forecast for construction spending put in place for 2020. As we close the books on the prior year, it appears that we'll actually end up 2020 up 1% compared to 2019. That's rather remarkable given everything that occurred during this pandemic-laden year. But most of that was driven by investments in single-family homes and in residential improvements, which account for more than 33% of total construction spending in the U.S. Many of you have heard me explain that construction spending in our industry in general lags the overall economy by typically a year to maybe two years. And when we look forward to 2021, we begin to see that lag really start to manifest itself. In fact, we could project that construction spending put in place for 2021 may be down 6%. And 2021 will really mark the first sort of decline that we see as a result of this pandemic-induced recession of 2020. This 6% decline in overall construction spending is driven largely by what we see in the residential building and non-residential building sectors, which are projected to decline by 7 and 8% respectively in 2021. Non-building structures, by comparison, relatively flat down roughly 2%. Obviously, the 33% decline we experienced in GDP during the second quarter of 2020 will have a major impact on overall construction investment. However, that depth of decline should be moderated by the near 35% increase in GDP we saw in Q3. So that's why we think 2022 may actually represent the bottom or the trough of this current down cycle in construction spending. Overall, we would see residential and non-residential buildings down roughly 15% or so from its peak in the 2019 timeframe. From a segment perspective, as we look at 2020, more than half of the 19 segments that FMI tracks actually grew or were stable during the year. As we look forward to 2021, that number drops to just three. That includes communications, sewage and waste disposal, and water supply. Now, over the longer term period, the five-year forecast period from 2019 to 2024, we begin to see that more of those segments have positive growth, although much more moderate than what we saw in the prior five-year cycle. Most of these segments that will experience more positive growth over the next five years are largely concentrated in the public and in the non-building sphere such as highways and streets, some of the healthcare work, sewage and waste disposal, power, et cetera. And this has largely been driven by what stimulus funding looks to be and has been, which will continue to buoy some of the investment opportunities in those markets going forward. Again, those on the bottom end, lodging, some of the amusement and recreation, even some of the commercial construction, will continue to struggle just simply because of the need for crowds, more people, et cetera, as we continue to try to work our way out of the pandemic. As the saying goes, all construction is local. And in fact, as we look at construction spending on the metropolitan level, it's important to know that even though we're talking about a 6% decline in overall construction spending, just remember that almost 40% of metropolitan markets are typically moving in the opposite direction of the other 60% at any given time. That means that about 40% are actually increasing or stable during that same time period. In every economy, bull markets and bear markets coexist at all times. So it's important to understand what your options are. Where can you pivot with the organization to thrive and succeed regardless of what we may be seeing in 21 or beyond? For that reason, I suggest that you download the full report at www.fminet.com. Or better yet, contact me or one of our consultants or investment bankers to talk about your business specifically and what we can do to assist you as we move into this new year. Thank you.